Hello, friend. Before I launch into this episode of Flipping 50, I want to share with you a little backstory, a little background flavor about what it's really like to be me on a Saturday morning, for instance, recording, and why, as I'm writing a blog, sometimes it becomes a podcast. And here's the real reason. I know that I'm sometimes so excited to get some information out. And maybe that's a little egotistical. Maybe I think a whole lot more of my blogs, podcast messages, articles that I write than I should. But I do think they need to know this. I think, oh my gosh, I've got to get this to them, especially on the weekend. So when my creativity flows a little bit better and I don't feel so pushed because there are no appointments on the schedule, I mean, and if they are, they are to have my hair done or something more serious like eyebrows done or whatever, you get the idea. I have a little bit more bandwidth to be creative, to work on the things I really, really love to work on my business. And they're there during the week too, but just so much more on the weekend. I will come up with an idea. And I know my team would love to have information weeks, even months in advance of what I'm going to do. And I do have an annual plan and I I teach it to fitness professionals. How do you become more polished and more planned so you can schedule the time when you will be able to sit down and write really great content that your audience wants from you? However, I'm what they call uh, a quick start, and I like to jump right in, and I like to be spontaneous, and I like to let your questions on social media and in the emails that we get in support at flipping50.com guide what I do next. So (laughs) I will often drive my team crazy, and if you're listening... I'm so sorry. However, it's probably not going to end. Now, that said, here's what I imagine. And here's why just posting a blog doesn't quite do it for me. So as many of you know, who have listened to Flipping 50 podcasts, maybe directly from flipping50.com and just have that open while say you're making dinner or you're working out and you're listening as we go, not necessarily on your phone in your earbuds or while you're commuting, but you know, my podcast show notes basically are a blog. And that is because I do things, I think very differently than many of my colleagues. I actually write the blog or the article first And then I often am using that bullet points or even reading it to make sure I don't miss an important point. And many of my colleagues may actually have more of a a free-flowing conversation about a topic, pulling in studies and looking at them, but then they'll transcribe that into the words. I do it backwards, or maybe I don't do it backwards. I just do it my way. And once I'm done, I decide Will this be easier for you to consume and digest and understand if you can hear me say it with a tone of voice, or will it be easier and better for you just to discover it on your own as a blog? And you'll find probably in this last 12 months of the pandemic, I've done far more podcasts than I have blogs. In fact, I used to release a podcast on Tuesday every week and a blog on Thursday every week. And I have really abandoned my blog, (laughs) but I consider our podcast also blog. So for those of you who might be listening, but it's rare or unusual for you to do so and you prefer to read it, the show notes are always there and they read like a blog. So if that's your preferred way of consuming, you've got it there. And I imagine you sitting across from my table And there's plenty of room, even though there's piles of things on the table. It does not look like a dining room table. It actually looks like a conference table desk. And I imagine you sitting there and and us talking, and that's how it rolls. 
And the only other thing I want to tell you about what it's like for me to be recording this for you is Truman wants to go outside. I literally talked to my dog. I said, can you wait just a minute? I want to record this first. He's like, I think that's healthy, but I'm just going to leave it there. And if you have a dog, I bet you know what I mean. So I want to dive into this. And there is a twofold reason why I want you to have this. Number one, it is 12 months into the pandemic. We need to continue this conversation about muscle loss and bone losses that will happen if you're not strength training correctly and make sure that you understand what that is and what the possibilities are and how easy it is to get started. But I also have to let you know, this episode is sponsored by Stronger and the doors are open right now as I record and will later release because you heard me, I'm a quick start and I like immediate gratification. So I want you to hear this on a weekend when maybe you too have a little bit more bandwidth, time and space to go for a walk or maybe go for a drive and listen to it if that's how you do it. But Stronger is open right now. If you're not someone who's already done our Stronger program, this is Tone and Define, a little bit higher repetition range, which means a little bit lighter weight. However, if you have special needs, meaning you can't do squats and lunges and really know that you cannot, you've been taught the right technique and the right how-to and the adjustments, and still find you can't do that, this program isn't for you. So if you need something, this is for apparently healthy women who, yeah, we're over 50, might be 60, might be 70. We have many of you in our programs, but you can do the exercise. You just need to know, how do I not abuse my joints? How do I use them? How do I make sure I have correct form? And what are modifications in this program if something happens uh, along those 12 weeks? And inevitably, my friend, for you or for me, it will. We have meaningful, messy lives because we have people and things in them we love. And while you have a heart rate, that is not going to change. So waiting till it's convenient, we cannot do that. Nothing about this past year has been convenient. So I will stop there, but I will let you know, you'll hear me talk about it again later at the end. And it's relative to what you might be doing. So if you're not strength training, please start. If you're started, evaluate your program based on some of the things that I will tell you. And it is important that it's been designed for a woman just like you, based on research, where the study subjects were you, not a young man who is in the peak of his muscle mass while you potentially are at or much closer to the peak of fat storage, that being easier at this point in your life. You are unique with hormones, metabolism, and body composition, and the way you were socialized to exercise. So, You should have a program that also does that. All right, enough said. Let's dive in. This whole title here, Midlife Weight Gain, it occurs over decades. Truly, it didn't appear overnight, and I know it feels like it does, but I want to share with you this misunderstood delusion. Midlife weight gain occurs for many women during menopause, and it's compounding and already present problem of weight gain that begins in your 30s if you let it. So now you may have been exercising or you may have been paying conscious attention to what it is you're eating and been one of the lucky ones who arrived at menopause already in better shape and cruised through it a little bit easier. But as this post will share, it's not the 10 pound problem that most women have that it seems. It's worse. In the aging process, a gradual creep of weight is not what it seems. A weight gain of 10 pounds per decade, that is the average, is really a 20-pound body composition problem. What do I mean? Without exercise interventions, you know I'm going to talk about those, the average adult will lose each decade five pounds of muscle mass 
and then gains during that same period 15 pounds of fat. The result on the scale is a 10 pound change, but a 20 pound physical appearance change in a far more devastating health problem. So please, I can hear a few of you say, no, 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 not me. I'm about the same weight as I was 10 years ago, 20 years ago in high school when I got married. Okay, girlfriend, my question to you is, are you wearing the same clothes, same size? You're as strong or has that mass changed? So it fits you differently around the butt or around the waist so that it's more fat and less muscle. It's a body composition we really want to concern ourselves with, not just weight. So be honest. So the answer, so it's exercise, right? You know, I'm going there. Yes, but, or maybe yes, and, as all the exercise modes have emerged over the last 40 years, there does not seem to be a clear message given to adults how to prioritize that activity. Bar exercise and yoga lattes won't keep you alive and thriving as long or as powerfully as other forms of exercise. The one that offers the most benefits? Resistance training, also known as strength training or weight training, to be specific. You might ask, what about bands or tubing? Are they good? Me? They're better than nothing. Or you'll ask, what about suspension training like TRX? Is that good? Me? It's better than nothing. You'll ask, what about body weight? I'll say, you should be able to move your own body weight. And I'll ask, but what's best? The closest thing to the dog food bag, the baby in the bassinet, and the china on the top shelf is weight. Literally weight. It doesn't matter what shape. Kettlebells are weight. Dumbbells are weight. Books in a backpack are weight. And your body doesn't know the difference. Why strength training? You may not lose weight on a strength training program right away. But keep listening and decide for yourself, would this be okay even if you didn't listen? lose weight without changing anything else. No more or less eating, uh, no change in your sleep or your water or your stress. The results you can expect from starting a strength training program, like my stronger program, include a loss of four pounds of fat in four weeks and a gain of three pounds of muscle in four weeks. And those results are typical each of the first three months of beginning a strength training program. What's that mean? Really, you can do math, a total loss of only about three pounds over those 12 weeks. And in full disclosure, some don't lose at all. In fact, a few gain. And that is flipping awesome. Why? Because Muscle is metabolically active muscle that burns fat, is more dense than fat. And that means you're on your way to a better metabolism for the rest of your life, and you're probably fitting better into those clothes. Losing muscle since age 30, unless you've been lifting weights and increasing your protein, has a damaging cumulative effect on your metabolism. If you don't lose weight, but you lose inches, your clothes will likely fit better or be looser. You might get reacquainted with some old favorite clothes or use a notch you haven't used on your belt recently, or you may have to use those three little words I used to love my mom to say, let's go shopping. And there's more. When you improve your strength, Some adults who begin strength training increase strength by 50% during 12 weeks, by the way. And I am not pulling this bunny out of my hat. I will place the studies below the post this week. You can do more when you're stronger. 
of all the things you love and also the things that keep you more active. Use more energy. And yes, then finally lose weight if you need to. But that's not all. When you increase your lean muscle tissue, you can also eat more. About 300 to 350 calories more and still reap the rewards of increased metabolism and weight loss. Let's face it, the deprivation diets that you've tried backfire on you and literally come back to bite you in the butt. When you eat more, you message your body to burn more. If you're choosing high quality protein in whole foods when you're eating, like lots and lots of colorful vegetables, you're also enhancing your health and your satiety. Bye-bye cravings. But just as any weight training program isn't a hormone balancing fitness program, the wrong exercise can be either too little or too much to be effective for you. And it may or may not allow the fitness opportunity that you need. So you have choices. Do nothing and Keep getting the same results you're getting until your metabolism slows down and start increasing fat. You can start lifting weights and guess at what you're doing for exercise and recovery is both safe and effective, or you can join us for Stronger. I slipped that right in. Did you notice? So here's the deal. Imagine what would happen if you got a little bit more conscious of foods that worked for you. In addition to doing strength training, or you paid a little bit more attention to a good night's sleep, or you added one or two days of interval training, or you made sure you got enough protein every meal. Any of those things will accelerate your progress beyond just the strength training alone. In the program, I give you a quick start guide that allows you to choose how much you want to change. If you change nothing, nothing else, but you add the 12 workouts over the 24 weeks of the program, you'll enhance muscle mass, strength, and stamina. That will increase your metabolism, your energy, and reduce your risk of injury. If you also add the included recommended changes for interval training, you'll further increase your metabolism and reduce your risk for injury. If you also follow the post-exercise nutrition recommendations, you'll increase muscle protein synthesis that increases your lean muscle, your bone density, your satiety, and decreases your cravings. Your level of participation is totally up to you. But when you register is not. Time's running out to register for the next Stronger Start. Don't wait to wait. While it is absolutely true, if you are 90 and that's when you begin strength training, you will make progress, but you will have spent more years sicker, fatter, or weaker than if you had begun sooner. You will be more likely to fall, to fracture if you do, and to spend more of your life inactive or scared of another fall if you do fall. Or you can have the positive side effects of enjoying going into your closet, wearing what you want to wear, participating in events and sightseeing that you've longed to do. You'll be scoffing at the grocery bagger who's asking if he can carry your bags to the car. And you'll be living where you choose to live. You'll wonder if you're the only one still enjoying intimacy when your friends complain about their libido and love life. Register now before it's too late. Doors to this 12-week program close prior to every program. The sooner you're on the notifications list in case you've missed the registration, the sooner you'll be notified when we open. The sooner you'll be strength training, doing sessions designed based on science, not on an instructor's mood or the workout a trainer decides that all their clients are going to do today. Just you. The sooner you benefit by starting this program. These are comments from women who've participated in previous Stronger programs, and here's what they're buzzing about. This is from Sherry. 
I also have thoroughly enjoyed and loved this program. I've definitely noticed a difference in how much better I feel and I'm a few pounds less. I'll complete the program in a few days. Yay for Flipping 50 and Deborah and staff. Thanks. Barbara says, I notice better posture and thinner thighs. Donna says, stronger. I'm on week seven, noticing my biceps are more defined, a little less jiggle in my thighs or my second wave goodbye. And my thighs are stronger, more toned looking, just above the kneecap. Terry Lynn says, I've noticed more definition. Toby says, I'm more defined, stronger. Not sure what my measurements will be. Not really concerned. I eat well, now, and I'm much more concerned about being healthy. Personally, I need to work on balance. I've enjoyed the weekly accountability. Elena says, definitely more toned arms. I say, don't wait any longer, friend. It's really not going to be convenient ever. Life isn't really going to slow down. Or let's rethink that. We wished for that. And actually, we got it in the form of a pandemic. So let's not be asking for that again. But life isn't going to be less stressful. Feeling stronger, however, will improve your current status, whatever that is. It's open just a limited number of times a year. Is now your time? I can't wait to see you inside if you decide. And if you've been able to go through this checklist and just even get motivated to go and pick up those weights and dust them off today, then my job here is done. I will leave this post at flipping50.com forward slash midlife weight gain. And I can't wait to see you in a program at P.S. If you're already inside, you are literally inside the Flipping 50 membership, already having done programs, and you too notice the changes that were both tangible and intangible that you didn't know you'd feel. I would so appreciate it if you'd share it with a friend because that is what we do. We take our advice for the things we're going to do, the doctors we're going to see from friends who've had good results. And we take that advice and hold it much closer to us than we do, say, some review on Yelp or elsewhere. So I so appreciate you, my friend, and your friends will appreciate it as well. What are you waiting for? Let's start flipping 50 today.